So I find EnvyAlt to be the best app to quickly take notes uh, throughout the day and also the best app to quickly find those notes um, on the go. So let's first show you where to download EnvyAlt. You can get this from Brett Terpstra. Uh, he has lots of great stuff on this website, but you can get EnvyAlt and just click on the download right there and install it like you would any other application. So let's go ahead and hide this and open up EnvyAlt. So this is my little custom setup and I'm gonna walk you through some first preferences that you wanna, you would wanna do first. So let's first go to preferences. So you can do command comma. And if you go to general, you can see that there is a bring to front hotkey. And so this allows you, um, whatever you're doing, you can hit this hotkey and EnvyAlt will come right up. You can take your note and then hide it again. Now mine's a little complicated, but you can set it to be whatever you'd want. So you just set it in here and click set and then set up your hotkey. I like to have the menu bar uh, so I can click it and open up EnvyAlt that way. Also, if for some reason I don't want to use the, the hotkey. So then let's go to our notes. And for our purposes, we don't want to synchronize with simple, simple notes. So make sure this is unchecked and then click on storage. And then we want to read this as plain text files. Um, I find this to be the easiest and quickest way to access your files on multiple devices. And then from here, we can choose what folder we want EnvyAlt to read. Because all EnvyAlt does is read a bunch of text files from your computer. And so I like to use Dropbox uh, for my sync. So if we click on here, and if you click other, you can then choose the folder. So I have a folder in Dropbox called EnvyAlt. So if I go to Dropbox, MMD, and then you see I have this EnvyAlt folder. And so you can choose whatever folder you want, but I would recommend using Dropbox because I'm also going to show you how to uh, sync this on iOS and it works best with Dropbox. And so from here, you can go to your fonts and colors. Uh, I like this uh, cuisine font, but you can choose whatever you want. And uh, my colors I got actually from a site called Rocket Inc. Um, I've modified them slightly so you can see my hex codes on the color. So if you want to click the second one, you can see and get this exact color right there. Foreground text is a little off, off beige color. And then the background, I have a little bit darker. So that's what I like, but you can mess with it and choose however you, however you want. So let's go ahead and get out of these preferences. Now, adding a note in EnvyAlt is really easy. So let's go ahead and hide this. And let's say we're going throughout our day and I wanted to add a quick note. So I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut to bring up EnvyAlt. And then as you can see, it takes me right to this title bar. And so right here, I can either search or create a note. So I'm just gonna create a quick note. And then once I wrote the title, I can click enter. And then I can type the body of the text. Now let's say I am already in a note and I want to get back to this title bar. I can either click or I can click on command L and it'll take me right there. And I can create a new note, enter and do it that way. So it's really easy to create a bunch of notes, uh, really easy to get into EnvyAlt to create a note like that. And then if I wanted to search, I do the same thing. So Command L, and then let's say I wanted to search for Virtue, and you can see all my notes with Virtue in them. And notice how quick and painless that was. I find this application to be very light. It's very quick. It's a little bit easier to use Evernote, just kind of on the fly. Evernote's great for other things, but I find just quick reference notes uh, this is this is the way to go. Another neat feature of EnvyAlt is the ability to copy text from a place like Safari and automatically create a new note. And you can you can cut you can copy and paste any text uh, into Env EnvyAlt, but there's a little trick with Safari. So if I open up Safari, and let's say I wanted to copy this first paragraph here. 
click on Command C, I'm gonna hide this. And then once I'm in NV Alt, I can just do Shift Command V and it will automatically create a new note. And so it created a title, it had the link that I was using, and then the copied text. I didn't have to create a new note and then paste the text. I just hit Shift Command V and it automatically creates this. So I find that really, really handy. So now I want to show you Notesy on iOS. This is the app that uh, it's similar to NV Alt, but it's on your iOS device. It's not the same app, but it does similar functions on iOS. And I also want to show you drafts. So before we go, once a look at the Dropbox folder that we are using. So we have NVL here. So once remember that it's in this MMD folder and NVL. And I'll show you why this is important when we go to our iOS device. So like I said, using text files and syncing them with Dropbox is great because you can use different apps and still access the same information. So Notesy is similar to NV Alt, but it's not by the, it's not by the same company or, or developer, and we can still access our information. So let's go ahead and up, open up Notesy for the first time. And the first time you open up Notesy, it will automatically try to link you to Dropbox. So go ahead and click Allow. And then let's go to the settings to make sure it's reading the correct folder. Click on Dropbox, and it created a folder called Notesy, but we are actually going to change this. And remember that we looked to see where this was on our computer. So it was in the folder MMD backslash NV Alt. So that should be good to go. Let's go back, click Done. And since we have not added any notes to Notesy, we're just going to click on Start Afresh. And notice now it's downloading 700, 600 notes. Well, welcome back. And that didn't take long. And that's another great thing about using uh, text files is that they are very small and um, you can quickly sync them and search through them. So to create a new note in Notesy, we can click this plus sign in the top right. And our title. And then we can just type in our note. Click on done, go back to our notes, and we see that it's right here. Now, if we wanna search our notes, we can just click on search. We can either search our notes from the past week or all of them. And then as you see, it just searches inside the note. So all our notes with virtue are found right here. Now, Notesy is great, but I usually only use Notesy to read my notes and search through them, and I don't usually use it to, uh, I don't usually use it to create a new note. So I usually use Drafts. Now, Drafts is a place where I start all of my text on iOS. So in this screencast, I'm just going to show you how I use it with my NVAlt workflow and how I quickly create notes using Drafts. So let's go in here and click on Drafts. Now I have it set up that the first line of the document is the title. So I press return and anything after the first line is in the note of the text. So then if I click the workflow button in the top right, and I click on NV Alt, it'll automatically send it there. Now notice how I created just another blank screen. I can create another note if I want. And click on the workflow, NV Alt, and I have another note stored. So if I go back to Notesy, we should see these two notes here at the top. Synced, and we see the notes right here. So I find drafts great because as soon as you open up the app, you're ready to type. So if you're on, on the phone or you have a quick idea and you just want to quickly get it down, just go in there, 
type it out, and then send it right to Notesy. So, so that's how I use drafts. So when I'm on the go, I can quickly add notes and then access them on, on the Mac uh, very easily. And this is all synced between iPhone, iPad, and the Mac all through, all through Dropbox. So I'm able to share, share this workflow. And so if you go to this link, and if you're on your phone or iPad, you can just click install and it will install it into drafts. Now, you need to make sure that Dropbox is linked on drafts. So if you click on settings in the bottom right, scroll down a little bit, click on configure accounts, and then make sure Dropbox is linked right here. And then the other thing you wanna do is once you install the workflow, click on the workflow icon in the top right, and then find the workflow and slide over to the right a little bit, and then click on the pencil to edit it. And then let's go to one step Dropbox, click this, and then you wanna change the path and so it's going to your folder where your notes are stored. So this is mine, MMD slash NVALT, and just put the same place as you did on Notesy and on NVALT. So then you should be good to go and you're ready to create quick notes on the go with drafts. And I find this workflow absolutely fantastic. So if you have any questions, get a hold of me on Twitter or send it, send it through the form on my website and I'd be happy to hear from you.